Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I'm uh, I'm going to tell you a little snippet with respect to one of my favorite Hasidic characters, Reb Zusha of Anapol, and uh, some um, Hasidim went to Reb Zusha. And they pointed out, listen, sometimes when we pray, we say, uh, and bestow good mercy upon us. And uh, Hashem, who bestows good mercy. And the question they had is, isn't every one of God's mercies good? I mean, it seems to be an unnecessary, you know, it seems like a redundancy. It doesn't, uh, what's going on here? Reb Zusha explains, of course every mercy is good. I'll go even further. All that Hashem does is mercy. But sometimes the world can't take the full force, the full light of Hashem's mercy. So the Creator sometimes clothes the mercy. And gives us like mixed blessings or things that turn out as mercy in the long run. And we ask that even those garments, even that clothing uh, that he closes mercy in, even that should be good. Um, we sometimes ask God that even how he clothes his mercy, that that should be good. Uh, we're gonna be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. Um, I use a lot of Hasidic stories to uh, bring forth an idea or a concept or a lesson or a rule that is sometimes best given over by means of a story, uh, especially stories of these uh, gedolim from, uh, from the past few hundred years. Um, great men, great souls, great minds, great hearts. Um, I hear stories of these uh, of these men, and I'm so humbled. And um, in weak moments, I'm um, I'm saddened because I realize how far I am from that uh, from that medrega, from that from that level. But it's also a source of inspiration. These weren't, you know unnatural creatures. These weren't unearthly creatures. These, these, were, these were men, ordinary people. They had their faults, they had their flaws, they had their upbringings, they had their ups and downs. Some people, like uh, Reb Zusha, suffered devastating poverty. And still, through it all, managed to become and retain their shining spirits, their shining Yiddish Neshamas. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them um, inspirational and of some uh, good use to you. Uh, and until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.